right guys welcome to another episode today we are doing an 11 mile float it is june 11th and it is perfect conditions i got my man big v over here from from f town he's the panhandler and today he's going to be manhandling the bass with the plopper over here we got big w from p town the philippines represent with the spin cast reels that she refuses to not learn any other kind, but she's gonna whip my butt probably. Exactly, exactly. And last but not least, Big J Dog from nowhere, because no town can ever hold me down. But I'm gonna be holding it down today. In fact, I'm gonna be floating down the river. And we are trying for primarily smallmouth and walleye. I'm going to be using bigger baits to try to catch bigger fish. Um, I don't even have crappie lures with me. I'm trying to focus just on the smallmouth and big walleye. If I get a white bass or goggle eye or crappie on accident, that's cool too, but I'm not really trying for them. I want to get a three pound smallie or a 20 inch plus walleye. So I'm going to be using some five inch baits today. So stay tuned, I'll turn back on once we get on the water. Spinner bait, man. Hell yeah. Nice white crappie, look at that. All right guys, I just caught a nice white crappie on a Booyah spinner bait. It is officially overcast once again too. Not a bad crappie and that's weird to catch one on a spinner bait. I'll take him. I mentioned in the intro to this video, if I catch a crappie, on, it'll be on accident. Well, sure as heck it was. All right, he's about eight inches. I might give him nine. <laughs> on a full-size big old spinner bait. That's what's weird. tail's hooked on itself. Well, you know which one's next, don't you? The foam hole. We'll get hung, but we'll catch a fish. Almost a guarantee. There we go. All right, another one. Small mouth. There we go. All right, guys, a smallmouth on a five inch Gary Yakamoto white grub with a half ounce jig head. Hook through the bottom lip with a hook pointing down. Heck yeah. I'm slowly but surely heating up now. Just ain't getting nothing of any size yet, but I'll get there. Here's a nice little smallmouth though. Nice way to start the day anyway. Still got we still got ten and a half hours, guys. We're gonna catch some fish today, no matter what. A lot of fish coming around that bluff. I didn't even try on the bluff because it was so hard to get over there, but I just seen them moving up, up there. A move. I just had one. I don't know what it was, but I had a good bite. Man, Wilma did a dunce move. There we go. Oh, yeah. Smallmouth. Wilma had a walleye all the, all the way to the canoe, like me right now. What's she do? Grabs the line instead of the damn fish. It's a walleye. Yeah, I know. And I knew it was going to fall off because it was barely hooked. you got to do this, Wilma. Look. 
at all cost. Walleye, that's two of them. All right guys, nice little eater walleye on a uh, Gary Yakamoto five inch white grub with a half ounce chartreuse and with red dots jig head. Ow, feisty. Yeah, I know. Here, I want you to film me. Here. Because I ain't got my backpack up here and I can't because of the shoe box. You'll probably have to zoom too. You'll have to zoom a little bit. The one she had was way bigger too. All the way had her hand on it. I've officially gotten spotted bass, smallmouth, walleye, and crappie. Dang it, what? Hold on. It ain't gonna let me do it. They're so feisty. They are so feisty. That's why I'm scared when I get a big one. He just went from real colorful to real pale. That quick from stress. Is it zoomed? Yeah. All right guys, nice little eater walleye anyway. Man, this fish was real colorful when I pulled it out of the water and out it just turned real pale like that. It just looks like it's been in real muddy water from stress. Yeah, I'm gonna anchor over there by that brush pile and cast. All right, look how pale he is. All right, let me wash my hands real quick. Sorry. Oh, goggle eye. Oh, you almost lost it. Guys, we've gotten everything now except white bass and pickerel. Pretty much everything that's went. Oh, we haven't gotten a large mouth yet either. So nice shadow bass. I'm zoomed. I ain't got the camera on my head. I got it in my hand. Hold him up for us. I'm going to zoom real good. Hey, we're getting a variety today, guys. Now I do wish I would have brought the worm. That's a nice one. Yeah. All right. Good catch. Oh, Wilma's got one. Over there in that swift ass water. Huh. Told you they'd be over there. I guarantee they're hiding underneath that bluff too. Smallmouth? Spotted bass. It might be a largemouth actually. Let me see it. Large, can't quite tell yet. Do I even got the camera on? Yeah, I do. All right, hold it up, I'll zoom. I think that's a spotted. Yeah, spotted. When you get a chance, hold it up. I'm zoomed. All right, Wilma with a, her first spotted bass of the day. I knew there'd be something sitting in here. Now it's sunny and it don't look like cloudy is going to return anytime soon, guys. I was hoping for all day cloudy. Now it's going to get hot and miserable. I can already tell it just went up 10 degrees in one minute. It's not bad. Heck yeah. One more time. There you go. We're not doing bad, guys. We're getting fish, just no giant. Guys, I thought I just had a gigantic walleye, and I got a bow in in a river they're not known to be in. This is an Ozark stream. Strange. I thought I had about a 10-pound walleye. I got to be really careful because I got 10-pound line, and it's magna thin. It's real thin. Oh my gosh. Boy, can you imagine if that would have been a walleye though? 
I really thought I had a gigantic walleye. Same color at first, you know what I mean? I gotta, I gotta finesse him, Wilma, or he'll cut my line. Don't do him from the tail. He's pulling me all around. That's a big bowfin. That might be my personal best. That is my personal best bowfin, without a doubt. That thing's over 30 inches. Let's uh, let's go for land. Let's uh, just hold it. Let me go for land. We're going over here in the sand. I cannot believe that out of here. Now, do you see why I got so excited? I thought that has to be a walleye because of how it was bending and fighting. Guys, this is my personal best bowfin, I do believe, out of an Ozark stream. He does not belong here at all. They don't like this kind of water. They like muddy, hot water. Why is he doing it in clear, uh, cold water? It's weird. We got finally got something worth bragging about, though, didn't we? Whew. Eh. All right, well, guys. Could be a personal best bowfin. He is. He's got to be ten pounds. Get it. Get it. Nope. He's only twenty-seven. So he's about seven pounds. Huh. All right, now I'm gonna put the, uh, I'm gonna put the fish in the dip net. Now give me my glove. Yeah, why did you take it out though? No, don't worry about the weight. He's not that big. We're just wasting time. Seven and a half. Seven and a half pounds, guys. All right, turn this off, put it away. And give me my glove. <sighs> what a catch, guys, on a flicker shad. One bowfin destroyed it. The, the lure is ruined. He bent the hooks, doubled over. I am lucky I got him. I caught him on 10 pound strand ultra thin, magna thin. If he would have just turned wrong, the weird thing about this bowfin, it is toothless. I have never seen this in my life. It has no teeth. I could actually pick him up like this if I want to. If he lets me. Oh, he's got some, but nothing like. You know, that you. Finger. Nothing like a lot of bowfin have. Is he dirty? Is it real dirty? Sandy. All right, let's get one more good picture. What a beautiful Ozark Stream bowfin, guys. I was so excited because I thought I had a giant walleye. That's what I'm fishing for. A little disappointing, but at least I caught something big today. We're gonna get going because we gotta get down to this other hole. Okay, that's it. That is awesome. Let's watch him swim away, guys. Look, he don't here, have no right poop here, on the right here. That is a true beast right there, guys. What an absolute giant bowfin. Way out of his territory. This is not his typical waters whatsoever. It don't make sense. It'd be like catching a smallmouth in a hot swamp. Hold it still. That is a giant. Isn't it? Oh my God. He stopped. He sure looks bigger than 27. I think it's big around. It's real heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my God. All right, now I gotta tie the... Real quick, I gotta tie the Fire Tiger crankbait back on that I lost so much for you. That crankbait didn't last very long, did it? I got a nice small mouth, just what I came for. Yes! Good net job, Wilma. Finally got my smallmouth of the day. The day turned around. 
Guy's wearing a 20 foot deep hole and I caught him seven foot down. <sighs> no, you're hung on the eye of the rod. You're hung on the eye of the rod. <clears throat> you about made me lose my dip net. God, I thought it was a walleye though. Still, I'm not disappointed either with this one. That's a nice small mouth. He's probably 14. Photo. It's recording. You just have to zoom. That is a two pound small. He's 15, maybe even 16, guys. It's a nice small mouth. Now that is what I came for. I got one of the fish I came after. I did get the walleye too, just not the size I'm looking for. Wowzers. What a beauty. Finally, guys, we have had a frustrating day. It's looking up. You never know, we could do good the last two hours. We got two good hours still. We actually got three. Whew. He was deep down there, man. Look at that thing. Showing the time. Showing the time. Yeah. Nice smallmouth, guys, on a five inch white grub, Gary Yakamoto. Don't. Oh, okay. Look at that beast. That's a nice smallmouth for here. He's two pounds anyway. He's about 15 or 16 inches. Hold on a minute. Sixteen. Sixteen inches, guys. Not bad. Okay. Wow. Whew. It's too bad it wasn't what I thought it was, though, but... <laughs> God. But, still, better than nothing, right? He's great.